All right, Nerdlove Live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Friday. Everybody loves Friday. It is uh, December 21st, 2018, 4 o'clock on the button. Boom. All right, uh, Martina Navratilova. I say that 10 times backwards. <laughs> She's a little bit hot water today because of her tweeting. Tweet, bidi, bidi, tweet, tweet. Yeah, uh, Martina Navratilova deletes tweet about trans athletes. All right, what's that all about? Ooh, well, here's some of the headline news. I just read from a uh, headline from Yahoo Sports. Yahoo.com. Here's one from Breitbart.com. Martina Navratilova. She said, I quote, quote, having a penis and calling yourself a woman doesn't mean you can compete against women. Uh-oh. Now, of course, she's gay, right? Yeah. Uh, I was looking up some of her statistics right here. She was 62 years old, born in 1956. She's won 18 Grand Slams. Grand Slams. Yeah, it sounds like uh, Denny's. Uh, no, it's not pancakes. It's tennis. Yeah. Uh, singles matches, right? Yeah. She is, she has a spouse, Julia. Julia. There you go. Lemongova. All right. Since 2014. So she is gay. But she came out and said, hey, <laughs> it's not fair for men to now go into the sports and compete against women and call themselves women. Uh-oh, cheerio. That's not what the media is saying. That's what the not that that's not what the New World Order wants you to believe. Oh yeah, hey, if you feel like you're a woman, you're a woman, even if you're a man. What happens if I feel like a giraffe? <laughs> what happens if I feel like Jeff Bezos? All right, can I collect his what 160 billion dollars? Yeah. Some of the other headlines right here uh, on her same thing. Outsports.com. Martina deletes trans athlete tweet. Quote: Educate myself. Telegraph UK, Martina. And they're calling her transphobic. Uh-oh. Row over comments about women's sports. Hello. I've been saying this for a while. I don't agree with everything Martina has said in the past. Probably most of the stuff I don't agree with. But, I mean, she even had a fight there with another tennis star. Uh, I think from Australia. But that's another story. Yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to read from the Breitbart here in a moment. Yeah, so uh, Martina Navratilova is a farmer in Czech, uh, Czechoslovak. <laughs> Czechoslovakian, I guess they say ak instead of yen, whatever. And later, American professional tennis player and coach. In 05, Tennis Magazine selected her as the greatest female tennis player for the, for the years of 1975 through 05, 2005, yeah. And she's considered one of the best, if not the best, female tennis players of all time. Well... I would have to disagree with that, but that's another story. Okay, let me read the article right here, and then I want to just give you some Bible verses on it, because, uh, the, you know, as the wind blows, <laughs> people are changing their mind, all right? Uh, you know, like the wind, as, as, as the wind changes several times a day, people are changing like that. And I, I really uh, want to know what God thinks. I want to know what Jesus thinks. Who made made male and female? What does he think, Bob? Yeah. All right, here's from Breitbart.com. I might read from other uh, these others as well. Martina uh, Navratilova. She said, having a penis and calling yourself a woman. Calling yourself a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can compete against women. I wonder if she's talking about uh, Michelle Obama, by the way. Oh, a lot of people think that um, Michelle Obama is a transgender yeah, man who claims to be a woman. Yeah. Well, do you see how big she is? Hello? Yeah, I mean, she looks like a football player. They call her Michael Robinson in articles I've seen all over the web. Yeah. Uh, if you look at uh, Michelle Obama, uh, Obama boots. Well, uh, you know, some of these articles are saying, oh, look at her cool $3,200 boots. I think, you know, right? No, is it? Michelle Obama steps out in boots. CNN.com. The internet just died over Michelle Obama's thigh-high gold boots. I don't know about you, but seriously, wow. Hello. Everybody's talking about Michelle Obama's boots. <laughs> Michelle Obama wears $4,000 thigh-high Balenciaga. Balenciaga glitter boots. I probably butcher butchered that. On book tour, foxnews.com, 11 hours ago. I don't care what she wears. I, 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 I think she is transgender. 
Yeah, Joan Rivers said that before she died. Joan Rivers came out and she, Joan Rivers was the one that came out and said that Michelle Obama was a tranny. But that's also a different story, yeah. But I think it's the same story. All right, here's from Breitbart.com. All right. Having a penis and calling yourself a woman. Calling yourself a woman, huh? Calling yourself a woman. Yeah, you want to believe it? Well, then you got to you got to agree what people call themselves. You know, uh, do you? I don't believe that. You know, there's a guy about a month ago or so. He wanted to call himself younger. He wanted to say that my age is not really this. I want my age to be that. Once you open up this uh, Pandora's box, I mean, it's just whatever, whatever, whatever you believe, we have to agree, or it's or it's it's a phobia, or it's a hate crime. <laughs> If I don't agree, you might be 75 years old, but you want to believe that you're 35. And if I don't agree with you, that's that's a hate crime. That's racism. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if you're a woman and you want to be a man, and I don't agree with you, or vice versa, you're a man, you want to be, a, you, you claim to be a woman, and I, and people don't agree. Oh, that's a transphobia. <laughs> what about if they believe that they're a cow? What have you know, etc. No, there's got to be some rule. There's got to be some rule book. There has to be some foundation that has been going on for thousands of years that uh, helps society not to be crazy. Yeah. Okay, tennis legend and longtime gay rights activist, of course she's gay, activist Martina Navratilova tweeted and then deleted an attack on policies allowing natural born men to compete against natural born women. Well, I said this for a long time. In sports. Uh, no, it's not fair. No, 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 no. If you're going to do this, and and, and you're, you're going to have to just have a whole different... T I wouldn't... I would not. I, first of all, I wouldn't allow it, personally, yeah. Uh, but if the sports industry is going to uh, uh, allow it or do something about it, then I think they have to have a whole transgender sports uh, world. Yeah, then you could have... Uh, men that believe they're women. Men that believe they're women have have their whole league. Then only the people that are going to com going to compete there would be men who are trans trans just transition to women. Men transgender to women. Men transgender to women. Yeah, you, and then that would be, that's the only way to be fair. Yeah, you see in rugby they're just I mean the guy is just beating up all the women. He she, but the guy calls himself a woman. But this is not about me. This is about Martina, all right? She tweeted and then deleted an attack on policies allowing natural-born men to compete against natural-born women. Never to, well, why didn't she delete it? Well, because... <laughs> she thinks it's not fair. Of course it's not fair. Duh! Navratilova has been gay rights activist for decades and is no right-winger. But it appears she is not on the liberal bandwagon for transgenderism. In a series of tweets posted a few days ago, actually December 18th if you want to be exact, the 1978 Wimbledon winner came out against trans women, natural born men, competing against women. Naturally, she immediately took heat from the left and soon deleted the initial tweet. Uh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> why would you do why would you delete it? Replying to a question on Twitter, Navratilova was sour on transgender athletes and said, You can't just proclaim yourself a female and be able to compete against women. I agree. There must be some standards. That's what I was saying. Having a penis and competing as a woman would not fit that standard. Martina Navratilova. 4.57 p.m. on December 18th, 2018, on Twitter. On Twitter, and people got the jitters because she put it on the Twitters. <laughs> as soon as she posted the message, liberals ganged up on her and tried to shame her. Why can't you have your own opinion? Why do you ha always have to agree with anti-biblical uh, screamers, snowflakes? No. Oh. You can have a difference of opinion. Yeah, you should have a difference of opinion uh, to make the planet healthy. Yeah, you shouldn't agree with everybody. Are you nuts? So they ganged up on her and tried to shame her into changing her mind on transgender athletes. 
One Twitter user warned Navratilova against allowing others to play on her fears. But Czech American tennis star bristled against the idea that she was afraid of anything. Martina uh, followed up, saying, What fears are you talking about? You need, to be, you need to be more specific because I don't know why fears. Because when you leave your country at 18, I guess she's talking about herself, you pretty much are not afraid of anything. Navratilova added that she was standing. Stand by your man. Standing by her criticism of transgender athlete. She said, I stand by what I said. The tennis star said, adding, when it comes to sports, we need to make sure we have a level playing field. Well, the... <laughs> I wonder what Ellen DeGeneres would think about this. Be kind. <laughs> you know, disagreeing is being kind, right? When your kid wants to eat nothing but chocolate and not eat uh, vegetables and... and, and you know, you know, be kind. What does that mean? Yeah, that, does that mean you can't disagree? You can't challenge? You can't be biblically minded? What does that mean, be kind? <laughs> the Bible says God is love. So, you know, if your kindness equals God, then God and his word are when the scriptures are one. So then, be, by being biblical, biblical thinking and acting, you're actually being kind one to another. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, she said, I stand by what I said. The tennis star add, add, adding, when it comes to sports, we need to make sure we have a level playing field. Of course, she's thinking in her mind, man, you have a 300-pound uh, guy now claiming to be a woman and wants to wrestle you or wants to karate chop you or wants to rugby yeah, yeah. or wants to play whatever. I want, I'm, I'm the greatest woman of all time. You're a 300-pound guy. Anyway, she said, uh, I stand by what I said. We need a le level playing field, right? This is what she said on, and then a whole bunch of tweets on Twitter here. She says, I don't need to look into this as far as I can tell you. I can stand by what I said. When I, when I don't know something, I'll check it out. When it comes to sports, we need to make sure we have a level playing field. That's the whole quote here. That, that is all in talking about fairness, the end. Fairness, I'd say even, uh, well, Bible. Biblical uh, perspective, yeah. The debate over men transitioning to women and then competing against natural-born women has been raging for several years, especially in the last year or so. Recently, an Australian handball... Oh, here it is, yeah. Recently, an Australian handball player who played as a man for years before beginning the transition is now causing controversy. <laughs> yeah. Until 2016, Aussie handball player Hannah Mouncey competed on the men's team. Uh -huh. But now, after transitioning to a woman, Mouncey is on the women's team. And at six foot two and 220 pounds, Mouncey is utterly dominating Australia's woman handball league. Yeah. Uh, what's wrong with that? I mean, whatever happened to common sense? Really? You know, we can tell that we're living in the last days because as the days of Noah were, so, the, so, the, so shall be the return of Jesus, the days of the, just before the return of Jesus, the coming of the Son of Man, the Bible says, yeah. Well, the people in the days of Noah, they were constantly thinking anti-biblical thoughts 24-7 and anti-biblical behaving. <laughs> I could just say sinning. But, yeah, it's the same thing, yeah. And we are seeing that right now, friends. We are, yeah. A situation such as Mouncey's is likely, uh, is likely exactly the sort of situation Navratilova is concerned over, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's simple. All right, I was thinking about this the other day, and, you know, I was looking at Bible scriptures. <clears throat> you know... You're going, to, you're going to buy a dog. You're going to spend, you know, $500, $20, $200, $2,000, $10,000 on a, on a dog, right? I want a female purebred, whatever. I want a male, right? And the guy gives you, I want a male, he gives you a female. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, really. You know, no. This dog <laughs> believes it's the opposite gender. 
You would think he's crazy. I'm not paying $10,000 for a male duck when I want a female or vice versa. We don't do that in the, in the animal world. Why should we do that with human? What kind of dog do you have? I don't know. Ask the dog. <laughs> well, let me lift up the leg. Okay, this is a female. Yeah. No, no, my dog believes, uh, uh, yeah, it's a male, even though it was born a female or vice versa. What the? People would put you in a loony bit, right? They lock you up. They think you're mentally unstable. Yeah. This has been going on for hundreds and thousands of years, you know. I'm going to buy a cow. <laughs> I'm going to give you a bull. <laughs> the bull thinks it's a cow. <laughs> I want a bull. I'm going to give you a cow instead, yeah. The cow thinks it's a bull. No, no, I know. You check the plumbing out, all right? No, this is a cow. This is a bull. This is, a, you know, female, female. And it's the same way for thousands of years with humans. Woman has a baby. What, what is it? What is it? It's a boy. How do you know? It's got a penis. It's a girl. How do you know? It's got a vagina. What's wrong with that? <laughs> so I agree, at least on the tweets <laughs> for Martina Navratilo. yeah and I'm wondering how far while well, they're calling her already they're calling her uh, transphobic Telegraph UK yeah transphobic uh, why can't I disagree why can't she disagree why does everybody have to be transphobic why do you always have to be homophobic if you disagree with the gay lifestyle I'm not saying going beating people up. I'm just saying I disagree with you. I love you, but I disagree with your anti-biblical behavior. Because <laughs> I want to go to heaven. <laughs> if you don't believe the Bible, fine. But I have the right, and everybody has the right to difference opinion and biblical thinking. Yeah. Well, you look at the countries that have anti-biblical thinking, and they're backwards. Countries that follow the rules of the Ten Commandments, the Old and New Testament, are the best countries on the planet. Yeah. The more you have the people in a country reading and obeying the scripture, the better that country is. Yeah, I'm not talking about religious, you know, hypocrites. Religions that claim the Bible but are hypocrites. I'm talking about people that love Jesus and are following his word. Yeah. Good people. All right, Genesis chapter one, verse twenty seven. I'm not going to keep you here. I know you want to go Christmas shopping or whatever. Yeah, drink your eggnog. Next Tuesday is Christmas, by the way, if you're watching this on time. If not, it's 2018 and it's almost Christmas. All right, Genesis 1, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female. Created he them. Yeah. Now, male and female, of course, they're different physically. But they have the same rights spiritually. In God's eyes, male and female have their have the same rights in, uh, in God's kingdom. Yeah. So when you're with the Lord, when you have your sins washed away in the name of Jesus Christ, and you get born again, which that what basically that's the definition, having your sins washed away is, is being born again. You're equal. You're equal. You have the same rights. You are joint heirs with Jesus. You're heirs of God. You own everything that Jesus owns. Well, what about uh, if you're not born again, spirit filled? <laughs> you own nothing. <laughs> well, you really don't. Oh, you may have stuff, but you really don't own it. And when Jesus comes back, you'll see that very plainly. Yeah. Because the earth belongs to Jesus. The earth, the fullness thereof, the world, and all that you dwell therein. The Bible says, yeah. Anyway, so there you go. God created, this is physically, male and female. Male and female. Male and female. Male and female. And how do you know? Because of the plumbing. <laughs> Genesis 5, 2. Male and female created he them. Yeah, how do you know? How do you know? And even the chromosomes are different. Even if you go through uh, the transition, the transgenderism transitioning, you're, you can't change your chromosomes. Yeah, you're either male or you're female. Right? X, 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 Y, whatever. Yeah. I want to change my chromosomes. Not going to happen, Bob. Genesis 5, 2. Male and female. Created he them. And he blessed them. You know, it, it's... 
you have to go back to the, the manual, the Emmanuel and the manual. Yeah, Emmanuel means God with us. That's, that's one of the names of Jesus, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. <laughs> one of the Bible names for Jesus, yeah. God with us, because Jesus is God. But you have to go to the manual, which, uh, manual, which is the scriptures, right? The foundation. And uh, be happy with whom God made you. Yeah. Or what God made you. Uh, and uh, just because you want to change, it, 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 God it cho cho chose <laughs> for you to be male or female, right? And he blessed them because God wants to bless you. He wants to bless you if you're a man. He wants to bless you if you're a woman. Yeah. You know, really, the, the definition of woman is womb man. Woman. Uh, you, you have a womb <laughs> when you were born. <laughs> it's not that difficult. And bless them. So don't get, you know, your undies in a wad if you are born a female or a man. Or a man. Accept it. Follow the Holy Spirit. God's leading. You're blessed. Yeah. Look at this. I was talking about animals earlier. Genesis, Genesis 6, 19. And of, and of every living thing of all flesh... Two of every sort you shall bring into the ark. This is Noah's ark. To keep them alive. They shall be male and female. <laughs> so if Noah went out and said, I'm going ah, to grab two males. What's the big deal? You're not going to have any offspring, dude. Yeah. They shall be male and female. Oh, I'm going to bring all females. That's not going to work. Well, my female, you know, believes that she's a male anyways. <laughs> I'll bring two females. But one of the females believes that she, yeah. That she's a male. They're not going to have any. You're not going to have any doves. You're not going to have any cows or dogs or, or, or elephants. If all the an, if all the animals, if all the male animals transitioned male to female, what the? You cut off all their penises of all the male animals. <laughs> there would be no breeding. There'd be no race horses. <laughs> be happy whom God created you to be. Yeah. Genesis 7, 9, there went, in two, uh, there went in two and two unto the ark, unto Noah, into the ark, male and female. God commanded Noah. Yeah, Genesis 7, 9, Genesis 7, 16, Matthew, you want to bring it to the New Testament, Matthew 19, chapter, uh, ni chapter 19, Matthew 19, 4. And he answered and said to them, you, have you not read, have you not read, da, 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 that he which made them at the beginning... Made them male and female. <laughs> he made you that way. So to say, well, I'm going to change uh, what God wants me to be, then you're going to have to, you're going to be fighting against God. And I I will predict that that person will be miserable the rest of their lives. Yeah, you can tell you everybody that you're happy, but you're not. Yeah. <clears throat> Why fight against God? Why fight against the will of God? <clears throat> I love you. Disagree or whatever, but I still love you. No matter what you believe, I still love you. Uh, yeah, people say, Daryl, do you love transgender people? Sure, I love transgender people. I just don't agree with them. Mark 10, 6, but from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. It's all right. Now, when you get born again, spirit filled, when you have your sins washed away, Jesus washed my sins away, filled me with your Holy Spirit. God gives you the same right, no matter who you are, no matter black, white, brown, yellow, red, male, female, Jew, non Jew, Greek. Galatians 3.28 bears us out. There is neither Jew nor Greek, neither bond nor free, neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. Your legal rights are equal. Yeah, not that difficult. Colossians 3.11 says the same thing. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew. Circumcision nor uncircumcision, which is basically doing it the Jewish way, right? Physically. Uh, or being non-Jewish, yeah. Symbolically. Barbarian, Scythian, bonder free, but Christ is all and in all. See, I think, uh, well, the, the people are getting mixed up. And uh, what people, the desires for God, the desires of God and for God need to come to the forefront. Uh, and, and God will put everything in order. You know, when countries and, and nations and empires and peoples leave the biblical foundation. Of Jesus from Old and New Testament. Because Jesus is, is talking in the Old Testament and the New Testament. When people leave Jesus' words and his teachings, 
They don't, they don't even know their left hand from the right hand. I don't know if I'm male or female. That's what happens. That, that, that's a side effect of leaving biblical thinking. Yeah. I threw this in here, Matthew 22, 30, for in the resurrection, when we go to heaven, etc., etc., after the next rapture, after the next great, great tribulation, after the battle of Armageddon, <clears throat> for in the resurrection they not, neither marry nor are given in marriage but are as the angels of God in heaven. Now, the angels of God are, they don't have physical body. They don't have vaginas or penises, but they are created. They're spirit beings. They're created in the image of Jesus, and they look like men. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to throw this in the mix, in the future, it's not going to be all about reproduction and vaginas and, and penises. It's going to be about, you know, uh, ruling on the earth, ruling in the universe. It says they're not going to be uh, they're not going to be concerned about marrying and giving in marriage, but as the angels of God in heaven. I'm not saying there's a, God's going to make you a mannequin, but it's not going to be the exact same way uh, as we've been having it. Because I mean, when people get to heaven and a guy had six, seven wives, hello, what, what, which wife are you going to have? Which husband are you going to have? <laughs> That's really what he's dealing with there too, as well. <laughs> But I thought it was interesting because Mark chapter 12, 25 says, When they shall rise from the dead, they are neither married nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels which are in heaven. It says it twice. Matthew 22, 30, Mark 12, 25. But if you add those two scriptures with Mark 16, 5, it says, When they entered the tomb, this is Jesus' resurrection. When they entered the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a white robe sitting on the right side. Women were shocked. This is an angel. Young man. Even though he doesn't have a physical body. Yeah, which is really, really, really interesting. Yeah, because when you die or someone dies, their spirit looks like their... The spirit looks like their body. Yeah, or what God intended them for, to be. So if you're a male and you die, you're going to look like a male when you go to heaven or to hell. Yeah, if you're a female and you die, you're going to look like a female when you go to heaven or go to hell. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. But anyways, I'm just, you know, why are angels? Why do why do why do angels look like young men instead of young women? <clears throat> because angels, uh, the creation of angels, were were to point to Jesus is coming. Yeah, they saw a young man clothed in a white robe. There you go. And then of course, here's your spiritual power, your legal rights from John chapter one verse twelve. But as many as received Jesus, him to them to them male or female gave he power to become the sons of god so legally you're cre even though you're a, if you're a female you're legally legally you're cons you're you're just you have the same rights as a man or even as the body of christ or as christ jesus gives you his authority as many as received jesus to them gave he power to become the sons of god well uh, how can i be a son of god if i'm a female it's talking about your legal rights. You become uh, the firstborn legally. You become the body of Christ. You become joint heirs with Christ. His rights, his authority, his blessings become yours. That's what it means. The sons of God. See, there you go. Even to them that believe on his name. Jesus in the house. Anyways, I think it's interesting. Uh, but I'm just help, help, helping and reminding people to turn their minds back to the scriptures. Or forward to the scriptures. <laughs> you need light. unless you, If you don't have this light. You're going to walk around stumbling in the darkness. Yeah. And you'll fall off a cliff. <laughs> All right, let's pray. Lord, we pray for everybody that's struggling with this on the planet. Let them see the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. Yeah, let people see the light and not walk in darkness anymore. Thank you, Lord, by your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, like I said, if you're not born again, spirit filled, it's easy. Jesus, watch my sins, wait filled with your Holy Spirit. Get in the Bible, read it, and do it. Then watch my videos on DarylLawson.com. Over 3,000 videos. It'll help you go forward, not backward. It'll help you not to fall off the cliff. Yeah. All right, I'm out of here. DarylLawson.com is my website. I have postings like this all the time and videos and links and this, that, and the other there and more. Yeah, all the, all the topics you can, you can imagine I have done on. I have done on. That, that, I have done. <laughs> Be healed in Jesus' name, yeah. All right, I'm out of here. I'm take a quick break. Then I'm going to go and uh, do a quick Facebook Live. I also have thousands of videos on Facebook, and I have 2,000 videos on YouTube. All right, and you can see that, like I said, on my website, journalist.com. All right, have a great uh, Friday night. And Christmas is coming up, so Merry Christmas to you. Thanks for your prayers and financial support. I really, 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 really do appreciate it, and God will bless you for it, according to Malachi chapter 3, verses 9 to 12. 8 to 12, actually. 
Tithing is of God. Malachi chapter 3, verse 8. Yeah, all right. I have a donation button on my website. I'll see you later. Love you. God bless you. Darrells.com. Bye for now.